What is going on, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another Beta Memoirs, where we like to find out which stocks are good investments, good swings, good scalps, any and all of the above. We're even going to throw in some crypto there here soon. That is what the plan is. Uh, so if that's something you're interested in, remember to hit the like button and subscribe to get more videos like this. Yes, I do do analysis on, on a daily basis, weekly basis. Uh, looking for entries and exits on the latest and greatest uh, beta stocks for the most part. I do do some other stocks as well too, but um, I primarily focus on the betas. But with that being said, uh, today was an interesting day. Uh, we had quite the sell-off this morning. I, I think there were some bad um, numbers that came out this morning. Uh, jobless claims, I think, came under a little bit, uh, the estimated uh, there was the speech by Biden last night, which I thought was extremely bullish in a lot of different things. Uh, the rates had jumped, spiked overnight, which could have been the reason we pulled back today. Again, there was no real news. Uh, earnings, Amazon just had earnings and destroyed earnings, uh, essentially making this whole pandemic, they've essentially made more money uh, than they have in the past three years total. Uh, so that's uh, quite insane. And you have Microsoft, Tesla, everybody has beat uh, dramatically. Uh, forward guidance uh, doesn't look so bright. Uh, a lot of it is not sustainable from what people are saying. Uh, I think these, uh, a lot of the analysis that come on with these these different opinions about these, these industry leaders are, are kind of absurd. <laughs> uh, just because of uh, the forward guidance and people uh, essentially freaking out for no apparent reason, uh, but ultimately, so the pullback, um, I was kind of seeing a pullback coming. Uh, you could see, it looks, the market looks like it wants to roll over, to be honest. Let me actually just um, go straight into this because tomorrow is Take Profit Friday. I'm expecting more selling tomorrow. Uh, so we're just going to dive straight into it today. Uh, my watch list is actually really short today as well. Uh, but uh, Overall, if you look at this, uh, we have gone almost straight up. We've melted straight up, to be honest. We have had some dramatic pullbacks. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if we don't, if we actually pull back a little bit further. We do have a bottom trend line here. Uh, I don't know if we're going to aim for that. We're still uh, just starting earnings. This was the first uh, major week of earnings. Uh, next week, we still got a lot of big players uh, like Square and a couple other big ones uh, next week as well. So that being said, I think um, it's hard to tell. It's hard to take longer positions for myself. Uh, I pretty much liquidated just about every position I had today uh, before the sell-off. I, I did get caught. I did have a red day today on my scalping side um, because I jumped into Facebook uh, a little too early and the market came cr crumbling down. And uh, I also grabbed Airbnb. But my intention was I wasn't really sure because looking again, looking at the market, it looked like it could almost roll over. Uh, it has been going melting straight up. Uh, maybe we roll over and pull back a little bit further. Uh, there, I was extremely bullish coming in today. Obviously, we gapped up overnight uh, because of the Biden stuff. But then um, again, sold off right in the support and then bounced. Uh, again, Amazon, great earnings. Uh, Twitter, uh, not so great. Uh, they pulled back today. Uh, after hours, NIO uh, really hasn't moved. I know there are calls later this evening, uh, so we'll see what happens with NIO later. But, but being said, um, again, going into tomorrow, my outlook is to go for the big names. Um, I know there's been kind of a rotation into the the secondary, second tier uh, tech of uh, value stocks, even possibly. I know Walmart and Target had a pump and they've kind of held since the sell off today. So we might be back into value. I, I don't typically trade a lot of value, but uh, those might be ones to look at tomorrow. Uh, QQQ uh, came crashing down. Again, it looks like it wants to pull back even more. I won't be surprised if we hit the support down here tomorrow uh, and see where we go from that point. Uh, tech has, has ran, but it's definitely not, it's been more normalized. And this is something that Kathy Wood has talked about. This is something that um, even Powell has talked about, uh, the normalization of, of the market. 
uh, with everything that's going on, the money being pumped in, the rates and inflation and everything that's going on. Uh, so being said, I think ultimately the market in itself is, is still trying to find itself. And then we're not getting those those big moves we saw just a couple of months ago. Uh, where you know everything was just going up and everything was right with the world. Um, the market has changed every year. There's something. Uh, there is new black swans. There's new things being introduced all the time, and so you have to adjust definitely to survive in this environment. About being said, uh, QQQ um, again. I have to see how we open tomorrow. Our earnings was fantastic all week. A lot of uh, the leaders again did fan phenomenal. Uh, but we'll have to see. Uh, maybe we sell off tomorrow for uh, better positioning. So uh, that's why I have this watch list. Again, it's short. Uh, Tesla, uh, looking for support on Tesla on the daily for that one. Uh, I did scalp it a couple different times today. Uh, Facebook, um, again, continuation play. It is it crushed earnings. Uh, a lot of the ad space, even Google uh, crushed earnings because of ads as well. Uh, Square has earnings next week with crypto and everything going on. I think it will have a big earnings next week. Uh, maybe we get a, a possible earnings leak before <laughs> before then. Uh, get the pump and sell the news. Uh, we'll see how that works uh, ultimately. But uh, And Amazon, again, crushed it. Uh, I haven't seen anything on – I know there's a lot of rumors about stock split. But, again, I haven't seen anything on um, – Amazon coming out with a stock split. So, but nonetheless, uh, they had incredible earnings. Look for continuation on that tomorrow. Uh, again, for, for uh, Tesla, I'm looking, I have this green line here at this uh, 651 mark. Uh, it's a good daily support. You got middle, middle Bollinger Band and stuff down here. Uh, I think ultimately you also have the trend line coming up. And so uh, that 657 mark is about where I'm looking at tomorrow. If we can get in this, I would like to try to grab a leap out of this. Uh, the leap is more so for um, security purposes, essentially, until we start gaining momentum. If you don't want to catch a knife, I'd wait till it reverses. But ultimately, I think uh, if it hits here, uh, I want to get in, again, a leap or a couple months out. I definitely want time on a contract if I get on this. I might actually start taking shares at this point and, and because – when the market does uh, turn back up and when uh, tech starts to run, uh, tech, obviously the leaders are going to be the first out ahead of everybody. And so Tesla is definitely one of them. Again, they crushed earnings and yet they're still selling. So, uh, And then Facebook is the next one I have. Uh, today, I kind of got cut up. I tried to catch it here. It didn't go. I cut before it dropped and then it bounced right back. But uh, my con I was playing uh, weeklies on this one. I didn't play longer term just because I don't like – uh, the price of where it's at normally i'll take uh, longer term positions when uh, the stock has been beaten down and it's essentially established a good base but nonetheless uh, facebook right now um, we'll look for continuation on that um, have to see how the general market is tomorrow but uh, facebook on the daily it's quite up there i mean it could come way back down uh, you're near support on the dailies at 309. So uh, that's just <laughs> that being said, uh, there could be a big sell off uh, just for this to come back down uh, to that 309 support, which is looking at, at uh, essentially the 50 on the hourly. Uh, Square is the next one. Um, I almost grabbed it today. It is right. On, I banged against this uh, really strong support. I actually grabbed it uh, earlier this week and played shares um, and made this, this pump here I caught. Uh, again, the news today just sold off. Um, tomorrow, definitely be careful in that first hour because uh, the, uh, there's going to be a lot of fake outs tomorrow. I've noticed that this just past week there's been a lot of fake outs. We've, we've popped and then we've kind of just sat, uh, either went sideways or sold off uh, quite quickly and had a lot of whipsaw this week. Uh, so just be mindful of that. Um, even my scalps, I've been trying not to take a lot of scalps and I take whatever profit I can only because these moves are very unpredictable. You get these big pops and then they just sell. Um, so that so being said, uh, something to keep in mind. Amazon tomorrow. Again, after hours, uh, big pop. Uh, we'll see where it ends up tomorrow if it doesn't gap up even more. Uh, if for some reason uh, the news comes out after this video is released about a stock split, I'll definitely be playing Amazon tomorrow. Um, if, if for some reason Amazon does split, I'll definitely be playing Amazon a lot more. Uh, I know Amazon's really been kind of iffy on 
uh, its movement lately. It hasn't been moving like the Amazon old, but uh, until this run up, it's actually been doing very well. Uh, so I'm going to keep Amazon on the watch for tomorrow. Again, depends all on market sentiment and where we go from there. But the biggest thing to keep in mind here is just to uh, manage risk. Uh, that's a big thing. You know, you're not going to win them all. There's no one uh, on YouTube or anybody that's been doing this for a long time that wins them all. It's all about uh, managing your risk and definitely uh, profit taking uh, when you are in uh, that thing. Uh, when you are in the green and not get too greedy and know when to exit, uh, especially if you are. This is a big reason why I like to play uh, beta stocks because of the fact that um, liquidity is still good and you don't want to be stuck in something you can't get out of if there's no liquidity, uh, which is something I'm finding out more about on the crypto side, which again, I'll start doing some videos on crypto as well. Uh, more introductory stuff, I am new, so that is something to keep in mind. So I am bringing my, um, essentially my stock market experience over to the crypto side and kind of uh, just showing you guys what I've learned from the crypto side as well. Talk about some exchanges and stuff like that and um, some things that I'm learning along the journey with uh, the crypto side as well. So, so remember to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Until next time, guys, I will see you guys later.